Hi, welcome to the Earth Mama Living Podcast. I am Jackie O with Earth Mama Living. This is the place where we explore healing through food, exercise, and mind-body wellness. I help moms create a delicious, holistic lifestyle so they can massively improve their whole family's health without sacrificing time, flavor, or sanity. Get out your pen and paper, grocery list, and open up your minds about food and cooking, mental wellness, body movement, and holistic home living as we dive into our show. I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Please pass on the word and tell your friends and let's get our awakened Earth Mama Living family growing. Find me on my blog on earthmamaliving.com, Facebook, Instagram, Earth Mama Living Official, YouTube, and Rumble. And today's show, I'm going to talk about my latest blog post because it's that important to me. It's really the foundation for healing, believe it or not. I'm also going to do a quick five-minute meditation for those of you who have told me that you cannot meditate. I really hope you enjoy it, even for those of you who are seasoned meditators. Before I get into today, I give you my best words of advice about gathering information from anywhere. Please read and listen to information you find here and anywhere with discernment. And what I mean is, look things up on your own to confirm what you need to know and understand. Feel free to ask me questions. Not everyone has the whole truth, but when I look through and see multiple sources that contain similar or exact information and it resonates with me, I sit with it until further or different knowledge is gathered. Does that make sense? Okay, great. Here is my core belief. In all that I do, I believe in challenging the status quo. I believe in trusting our bodies to heal themselves. The way I challenge the status quo is by teaching clean living by what we eat, what we allow around us, and all that supports our bodies to heal themselves. So let's do that quick short guided meditation since we're always practicing connecting and being in our bodies as it relates to the earth and our higher selves. Please do this only if it's safe for you to close your eyes and be very relaxed. Save this podcast for later if you'd like to do this exercise at a better time. Okay, are you ready? All right, so when you're ready, assume a comfortable position. Shut your eyes as you start to relax. Tape in, take in a deep breath. Now breathe out, emptying your lungs entirely. And once again, take full deep breaths, never strained or rushed. Breathe in strength. Breathe out tension. Carry on to relax. Take full deep breaths. Allow your breathing to discover its own natural, unhurried pace. And as ideas enter your mind, allow them to go without attachment. As you sink into comfort and relaxation, see yourself enjoying a waterfall of sunlight and crystal water. As the sun and water cascade over your body, you absorb the healing oxygen carried inside your blood vessels through your whole system. The oxygen heals and releases the holding contraction of each muscle. Every muscle becomes taffy, soft and pliable. All tension gives way to easiness, easiness. The cascade of sunlight reminds you of the source of all energy. Your whole being sings with release and renewal as the source refuels and strengthens your mind and body. In healing, all is possible. As you heal your spirit and body, your gifts to the universe emerge. The healing vision of cascading sunshine and water is yours whenever you want it to be. Your breathing is unstrained. Relax your toes and feet. Relax your ankles and knees. Relax your leg muscles. Your breathing is deep and relaxing. Relax your fingers and hands. Loosen up your wrists and elbows. Relax your arms. Your breathing is slow and peaceful. Feel your feet and legs get heavy and warm. Feel your hands and arms get warm and heavy. Simply breathe as your thoughts come and go. Center on your breathing. Let go of tension as your body falls into a state of peaceful quiet. Unclench your jaw. 
Relax your face and let go of your tongue. Your heartbeat and breathing are serene and steady. Your breathing is relaxed. Void your mind of all thoughts. Your abdomen is soft and warm and your limbs are heavy and warm. Watch your thoughts come and go like clouds in the sky. Your hands are warm, your forehead is cool, and your breathing is deep and relaxed. Feel your breath sink lower and lower into your lungs. As your shoulders drop, feel your breath fill the upper part of your chest. You're relaxed and peaceful. Your breathing is deep and relaxed. Warm hands, cool forehead. Empty your lungs totally. Hear the silence grow as your mind hushes. You are relaxed, calm, and centered. Your heart rate and breathing are calm and steady. Warm hands, cool forehead. Your breathing is deep and relaxed. Enjoy the quiet. When you know it's time to leave this place, begin to return. Let your breathing bring you back. Gently take a couple of deep breaths. Pause a moment. Remember one last time that you can return to this space anytime you wish. It may be only for a moment, but it will remind you of the sense of peace that's yours. Open your eyes, feel the goodness of the meditation for a few moments. Welcome back, my friends. How do you feel? I feel pretty grounded myself. What stood out for you in your observing? Just think about that and let it sit with you for this week. So let's get back to the discussion that I brought up with my latest blog entry, which was dated on April 22nd. When things are super wonky. And by the way, before I proceed, just definitely know that I'm open to hearing about your reactions and comments below in whichever app you're listening to this to. So right now, what do you do? Because these times truly test you for when you're either all out of balance yourself or your world around you is spinning super out of balance. And guess what? You need to grasp onto your central point so that it so that the winds, storms, and people around you that are far from grounded will not thwart your own ability to function today. Yep, and that's it, just for today, because that is all we can grapple with. Sometimes I find myself in those moments, like today, where I am using old stuff to get myself connected. Like social media, talking to people at work, shopping when I don't need to, driving on fast roads like freeways when I truly don't, need, don't feel like it's the best path. Today I had to just take the longer road home from one of my destinations so that I was sure of my stepping. I scheduled myself to do exercise that I would normally be doing anyway by blocking out the time on my calendar. It's an all-encompassing inner search for what can help me get my shit together. And, you know, everybody else says get grounded, but I like to throw in swear words to keep it real for myself, and that's certainly how I talk to myself. Somehow grounding doesn't have the potency that getting my shit together has. The main thing is stopping in your tracks. Can you do that today? For real. Sometimes it's go going into the bathroom, wherever you happen to be, and looking at yourself in the mirror and saying out loud, what can I do right now to help me get my shit together? And say out loud what you hear, if you do hear or see anything in your brain. I know you have the ability to sense what's the best thing for you right now. Sometimes it takes practice, but I know you will and you can. You can ask yourself some pointed questions like, what would someone who has all of their shit together do right now in my situation? What would someone who really loves themselves do right now? And that's, by the way, a nod to Teal Swan's teachings. Have you read her book? It's, it's, I haven't read it yet myself, but um, I have heard her videos on this particular topic itself. It's great. I definitely want to read that book. So what about what can I do right now to get myself out of this funky wonkiness 
and really listen. I think that sometimes just taking this time to talk to yourself alone can help you remember what you need to do. Do you need to drink water? For example, I forgot my water bottle today when I left the house. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, so it's not a good thing to do, especially when it's over 90 degrees. So one thing I did when I got home was to find that said water bottle, fill it again, and begin drinking some water. By the way, in case you didn't know, your body doesn't just absorb all the water at once if you drink a bunch. It sounds silly, I know, but <clears throat> I think inside we often think that things process fast like our brains think they should. So drinking slowly and often is the best thing for sure. Me writing today was one of the things I had to do for myself. I feel disconnected when I'm not writing to and for you out there. My guides and my inter internal higher self, or however you needed to define your divinity, need to speak through me and also help me on my own path, and if I'm not writing, I am more disconnected to them. The world is totally wonky right now. I know you know that. And so, seeing that we have this condition, and in this very moment, we cannot change it. We have got to get our shit together one day at a time. Sometimes it's one hour at a time. What's it gonna take for you, my friend, to find your groove? Get your head back on. Be the mom you're needing to be in this moment instead of the inner six-year-old who's annoyed because the day didn't go like you wanted it to, hmm? I know you know, you've gotta go, you got to, because in case you don't, then let's get a list going here of ideas. Ideas to help your head get screwed back on. Here's some of the things that I, I recommend. So, one thing you can do is take several long deep breaths in and out. Do that off and on for the rest of the day. And noticing, notice when you're shallow breathing. You'll be shocked, you, you really will. All right, number two, drink good quality filtered water slowly and all throughout the rest of your day. Number three, have some herbal tea and take your time sipping it, no gulping. Number four, go exercise, whatever it is that you love to do or like to do. Walk, lift weights, ride your bike, stretch, use that foam roller you've got stashed away, um, or do some yoga moves. Search online videos if you need to. There's a gajillion, um, gajillion videos about pretty much any, any sort of physical fitness, certainly. Number five. Sit somewhere in your home where you don't normally sit and look around and look for something that you never noticed before or haven't seen in a very long time and ponder it. Just think about it. Just think, I haven't seen that in a long time and see what it brings to you. Number six, go to your room. <laughs> Read. No internet, please, when you do that. Give yourself a time out. Remember when our parents did that for us? Do that to yourself. Make yourself go to a safer, calm area of your home. Number seven, take a bath or a long shower. Eight, go for a scenic drive. No freeways if possible and come back home after you feel a shift. You'll know. Number nine, listen to some quiet music and that's all. Don't do anything else. Just sit and listen to some quiet music. Number 10, meditate if you have patience at the moment for it. This is for when you can be more calm and sit still. If you're already doing meditation, do another session. You know how, and if you don't actually, then talk to me down in the comments below and I'll guide you to be able to do that. You might wanna listen to my pod podcasts where I do short guided meditations like today's. And um, I'm on Apple, Google, Spotify, and Anchor. Just search for Earth Mama Living if you don't have the, the, the link handy. Spend time with your pets if you have any. Remember how you used to play with them a lot when they were babies, if you had them at that time? If you don't have pets, do you have any potted plants or a garden outside or anything from the earth that you can devote a little attention to? If you don't have any of that, what about, try number 12. Number 12, what's your way? Do what you know that you know separates out the stuff of the world and you're able to compartmentalize your own world into a manageable bite-sized thing. What can you do? How about pick a spot on the floor in your home and lay down with your arms and legs all outstretched if you can and stare at your ceiling and just breathe. Tell me how it goes today. I gathered up my shit today and feel much better. Better. Now when I encounter more people or news or other stuff, it won't knock me off my balanced space. 
I appreciate you all out there for what you're going through. Tell me what you did today if you need, if you needed it to gather up yourself and be with yourself and love on yourself. Did you do it? We want to know. For more details about my journey, visit my blog post dated on September 7th, 2021 about my having to remove every speck of gluten in my diet once they gave me a diagnosis of celiac disease. Well, that about does it for today. And um, if anyone has questions about my story, please go ahead if you'd like and send me an email at Jackie at earthmamaliving.com. Thank you for tuning in to the to the third edition of the Earth Mama Living podcast. Have a super awesome day, my friends. Take care.